Elon Musk's brain implant company Neuralink said on Thursday it had been given a green light from the US FDA to kickstart its first in human clinical study. It's a critical milestone for Neuralink after earlier struggles to gain approval. We're confident that it is possible to restore full body functionality. To... On at least four occasions since 2019, Musk has said his medical device company would begin human trials for brain implant to treat severe conditions such as paralysis and blindness. Yet the company only sought Food and Drug Administration approval in early 2022, and the agency rejected the application, sources linked to the company told Reuters in March. The sources said the FDA had pointed out several concerns to Neuralink that needed to be addressed before sanctioning human trials. They include the device's battery, as well as safety issues surrounding its wires and the protection of brain tissue. Thursday's FDA approval comes as U.S. lawmakers are urging regulators to investigate the oversight of animal testing at Neuralink. The company has already been the subject of federal probes, including at least one linked to animal testing and treatment. In a tweet on Thursday, Neuralink said it was excited to share the news of the approval, but that it's not yet recruiting for a clinical trial. Over the years, Musk has publicly outlined an ambitious plan for Neuralink. He envisions its devices to cure a range of conditions from obesity, autism, depression, schizophrenia, to enabling web browsing and even telepathy. And that both disabled and healthy individuals would be swiftly getting surgical implants at local centers. Neuralink and the FDA did not immediately respond to a Reuters request for comment. Email exchanges from inside the BBC, they talk about the risk of violating Indian laws. It's easier to rake up the freedom of speech debate, but does it give anyone a free pass to knowingly violate the law? America supports India because it needs India's support in return. And India is working with the US because it suits India's interests. This is how geopolitics works. Last night, he diffused a crisis with his defense minister. But today, Netanyahu was confronted with a new problem. His cabinet seems to have rebelled against him. The UK is looking at the Indian subcontinent to fill its coffers. That India seems to be negotiating from a position of power like a partner and not a former colony. The US and Russia are dangerously close to an armed conflict. This year, 2023, New Delhi will be the capital of global diplomacy. For a country as diverse as ours, with 88% of the population illiterate, it was a very big deal to write a constitution, and that too, the world's largest. Meanwhile, if we may, here's a Republic Day gift from India for the BBC. A list of suggestions for the BBC for their upcoming documentaries. Number one. The Kohinoor and the Colonial Loot. Number two, an outdated monarchy and unhealthy obsession with the royals. Number three, racism in 2023. We're waiting.